Hey guys, this one is going to go out to all of you teachers out there. If you are doing any sort of teaching online right now where you're presenting some information, you want the kids to work on something else, to, to see something else, then this is an awesome double quick tip for you this week. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, so this is gonna require you to use Chrome browser and to use an extension that splits screens and then also a quick tip in Google Slides. It's in a totally different way that will allow your kids to split screen you um, and the work they need to do all at the same time. Okay guys, what we need first is a Chrome extension that allows us to split our tabs into separate windows and then we can run different things on both sides and here we go. So we're just gonna go to the Chrome web store or chrome.google.com and right up here in this search bar, what we're gonna put in is tab resize. I'll put a link to this down in the description as well. I'm gonna hit enter. Now I already have it installed, but it's really simple. What this thing allows you to do is to split your tabs into split screen and automatically snaps them right, left, up, down. There's all sorts of ways that you can use this. But if you're virtual teaching, well, this is gonna be awesome for you and for your students. So all I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add this to Chrome. Now I already have it in there, but we're gonna install it. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this down so you can see it. Right there, um, this little puzzle piece leads me to all of my extensions. And the one I'm looking for that I just installed, you can see a bunch of others that I've got going on down here but is tab resize right there and i want to make sure it's pinned so that it shows up right here it's these double arrows at a diagonal so once i have that installed what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up like a presentation so i have this this is my week 17 um pair deck google slides lesson that I do live with my students and then I also move it to student paste and it's all of their remote work for the rest of the week because I only see my students once a week. So this is a little bit of a pain because the aspect ratio of this slides presentation is designed for this screen, but it's not designed to do anything else at the same time. But most of the time what I'm looking at here really doesn't matter. So I want to show you what you can do is if you've already got these made, you just literally go to file and make a copy. Now once you make a copy of the entire presentation which I've done what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it into portrait mode so now this is gonna snap right in right next to my Google Meet other instructions whatever I want to put up on the other half and I'll show you how to do that in a second but here's how you do it once you make a copy you're gonna to go to file and you're gonna move down to page setup now on page setup I have this set it custom eight and a half to 11. So in other words, it's exactly the same size as a piece of paper. Now, if you have a student with poor internet access and you wanna print this off, another great tip. Go ahead and print this off on a paper form and send that home with the student the time that you do see them and they can still work on the same document that everybody else is working on, even if they don't have internet. But once I have that done, you just hit apply. Now I'm gonna hit cancel and you can see it does scrunch a little bit of the graphics from Pear Deck, but to me that's not a real big deal. All of the functionality in Pear Deck of recording the students' answers, having pop-up questions, all of the activities that I want, my notes, my questions um, are in here, my links all still work, and here's the beauty of it. I have now at the top, I'm gonna scroll down, I have a Meet open right here. Now, I'm not in there yet. Hey, who's that good looking guy? Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and select my meet and I'm going to select, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click this Google window. Let's say I want both of those. And now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on my extension. When I click on my extension, you can see two by two right there. So when I click it, bang, it moves this guy right here. My Google meet is ready to roll. And then over here, all I have to do is close out the tabs I don't want. And now I've got a split screen with the work for my students and the Google Meet right next door to each other. Students can install this, this extension as well. And they're going to be up and running with the Google Meet on one side, all their stuff on the other. Now, yes, you can tediously grab this edge and move it side to side. But once this is in there, you're ready to go. One other way to think about it is I have three tabs open right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this guy back in 
and I'm gonna double click the edge. So I've got it all back the way it came. Well now, I'm just gonna open up another tab. A website I use all the time with my students, you probably saw it open in the background, is Explore Learning. So let's say that I want to have all this stuff open at once, or maybe this is a breakout room in Zoom. Whatever it is, I'm gonna hit Shift, and I'm gonna select, as I'm holding down Shift, all four of my tabs. I'm gonna go back over, and this time I'm gonna go two by two. And right there, bang, it tiles everything. So if I had four breakout rooms and I wanted to monitor the students' chat, who's talking, are they on task, a great way to do it really quick, then I can pick which one I wanna interact with, and I'm good to go. So awesome trick for two things. One, a Chrome extension, and then just another way to format your Google Slides in a way that allows you to put them in portrait mode so you maximize your real estate and your kids can see everything all at once. So hey, I hope that was helpful. Hope it helps you kick some class and uh, we'll see you in the next video.